Judge Faye Peterson says that the shooting suspect's mother will not be allowed near the courthouse until the trial is over. But until the, this case is concluded, that you are prohibited from coming to the Hines County Circuit Court building. Do you understand that? Now at day two of the trial of Jordan Cummins, the man charged of killing two people near the 2023 St. Paddy's Day Parade route. Cummins' mother now behind bars after she was caught discussing witness testimonies on a three-way call with Cummins and his girlfriend, Jenny Lukens. Cummins is on trial, accused of randomly firing shots into the parade's crowd. It's not a matter of her talking to her son. It's when you take act actions to undermine the integrity of these proceedings. And that's not going to happen. She is now barred from entering the courthouse as this trial proceeds. This as three new witnesses came to the stand to comb through newly released video of moments leading up to the deadly shooting that took the lives of 27-year-old Joshua Spann and 23-year-old Alden Jubilee Simpkins. Take a look at this video. Witness Stephen Porter said he saw Lukens and Cummins fighting inside this gold car. He said Cummins punched Lukens, his girlfriend, at least eight times in the head. That's when Porter, Joshua Spann, and a group of other witnesses approached the car. Who did you see get shot? Joshua Spann. You be simple. Tell me about that when he got shot. He looked at me and said, I'm hit and I love you, and ran to the front of the truck and Died. The group of witnesses said they approached Cummins' car to stop Lukens from being beaten by Cummins. I'm telling Jenny to come with us. We can keep her safe. And she says he's getting a gun. He's got a gun. Afterwards, witnesses say Cummins fired random shots seven or eight times, those bullets eventually killing Span and Simpkins. Did Jenny say anything after the shooting? You just killed someone. We got to go. According to prosecutors, the video showed Lukens getting out and running from the car, with Cummins going after her. Cummins then got into the driver's seat and Lukens got into the passenger seat, and the car took off. Yet this trial has the potential to face a mistrial, as an image of the jury was mistakenly captured by the media. At this point, Judge Peterson says that the court is now trying to decide if they will call for a mistrial or not. Reporting from Jackson, Brooklyn Joyner, 16 WAPT News.